Are there any homes left for under $400,000? Hello and welcome to Clearance Rate, a full wrap of the nation's residential property market over the last week. With markets at record highs, there's little surprise chances of buying a home for under $400,000 are drying up. Finding a home for under that amount is pretty scarce in the capital cities, but there are still pockets of cheap homes available. But where? New South Wales real estate editor Tim McIntyre, what do you think? Where should we be looking? Well, first, Prue, thanks. It's very nice to join you this week in the studio. <laughs> That's a pleasure. Uh, yeah, look, if you're going to look somewhere for less than 400000 in a capital city, uh, you're looking a long way from Sydney and Melbourne, that's for sure. You're looking either down in Tasmania or you're looking in some of the regional capitals like oh. uh, perhaps Newcastle or somewhere around there. Moving along. OK, let's have a look at this week's clearance rates. We can see here that uh, Sydney's still top of the pops here at 78.1%, but it's just coming off a little bit as yeah. listings pick up going into spring. Uh, Melbourne with the most auctions, they're back at the top, but 77%, yeah, they're warming up as well. The rest are all pretty, pretty quiet at the moment. Some stats on sales under $400,000 for you now. And in our capital cities, 21.4% of house sales and 33.5% of unit sales came in under that amount. 20 years ago, it was 95.2% for houses and 96.7% for units. So a significant decrease. Tim, now can you talk us through this week's action on the private treaty market? Sure thing, and those days of uh, 20 years ago are long forgotten indeed. And uh, here we see Sydney now up to 900,000 median over for just over 3,200 sales. Um, and then it's a long way down to Melbourne in second place at 575,000. And in fact, Adelaide, the only, the only place where the median is around that $400,000 mark. And what are we seeing now on the, uh, on the apartment front, Tim? Oh, look, we're seeing once again Sydney with that never-ending push towards the $700,000 median mark. Nearly 2,000 sales and up to 665 for the median there. Uh, Melbourne, the only one coming close uh, in, in terms of volume. is still a long way behind. And the other markets are quite flat. And Adelaide, a bit of value there for just three quarters of the price of a house. And there are far more opportunities to buy property for less than $400,000 in the unit market for obvious reasons. This only supporting the shift to more dense vertical living in the future. What are we seeing in terms of overall price direction this week? Well, as a matter of fact, it's been a, a very quiet week for the main capitals. Sydney and Melbourne both coming off some good recent months. Um, Sydney falling by 0.1%, Melbourne by 06 and Perth continuing its plunge to the bottom mm. of its trough cycle at one, a 1.3% slip there. Brisbane and Adelaide not doing much, but going backwards in, re in real terms when you look at inflation. Wow, that's, in that's amazing. Time now for our weekly sticky beak now. And Tim, what have you got for us this week? Well, I thought that with the uh, auction market starting to heat up now, we look at some of the properties that went over reserve this week. So this one was at Lane Cove. This one sold for $2.26 million, which was $290,000 above reserve. Wow. Um, it's you know, charming though, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is charming. <laughs> it's charming in the fact that it's, it's a house and it's got grass and a yard and that's, that's about all it takes in the North Shore at the moment. Yeah. Uh, this one is from West Ride, 1.66 million. If you ask anyone who lived in West Ride, uh, you know, 10, 15 years ago, they would have yeah. thought that was a pipe dream for a property like <laughs> this. And it's gone 110,000 above reserve. So still doing strong even at that high price point. Wow, well, modern now. Now this one is Middleton, Mo, modern. Mo, <laughs> Middleton <laughs> Grange, modern Middleton Grange. We're heading out west, uh, 81,000 over reserve, but just for $881,000. So if you don't mind living a bit further away from the shoreline, um, quite a nice, nice option there. Yeah, very modern. Not my, Oh, work to be done here though. And this is one where I thought you might like this interior, <laughs> Prue. Uh, Earlwood, $1.53 million for this beauty and 130000 over uh, over reserve. 130 um, over. Wow. Where would you get started inside there? Uh, well, uh, oh, but I'd sell off the property, off the uh, off that furniture first, because that sort of deco retro stuff's worth a fortune. Yep. And that's clearance rate for today. We'll have more for you again next week. See you then.